You know what? We, we can okay. be a dick about it and just like present her like her... Um... No, 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 no. We already been dick about it. <laughs> there is something I've been wanting to ask you. Uh, yeah? Why are you still smiling? Are you some, some sort of psychopath? <laughs> Looking psycho. <laughs> like people in the religions training? Like, is this a cult? What does that mean to you? What does no, no, this you cult. do? Huh? I, it, it, it's, it's, it's a it's a exchange, really. It's not a cult, by the way. <laughs> I'm a spirit medium in training. See, not a cult. Definitely a cult. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can use your ooh energy actually, are you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, if he wants to do it, you can do it. <clears throat> no, we um, can roll the dice. I have the dice right here. You can roll the dice. Even a, smear, even odd, right, smear. Real smear. Ryu, even or odds? Oh, um, even. Even. Six. Oh, okay. You're the one, aren't you? The detective told me. <laughs> he said, "Don't say nothing to that lawyer, Pat." <laughs> <laughs> Note to self: She's crazy. <laughs> okay. Oh, Rich, I'm quite a painter. Aha! You know this? It's my pride and joy impression, isn't it? Isn't it? This guy uses a cracky. <laughs> <laughs> the color of the side. The hue of the seed. The weave of the straw hat. With the actual straw, actually. Um, Luffy, is that you? Whatever, Monkey D. Luffy, da. The worst, <laughs> at least three millions. I have no intention of parting with it, of course, unless you really want to buy it with five million. No, no, wait, no. I won't sell it unless you can. Not even you. I won't sell it unless it's like 50 I, million. I wasn't even interested. Very... It's not for shares. I'm not buying. I think the idea he gets like a lot of clients, and then he sees a client look at the painting, and he's like, "No, I'm not selling it. I'm not selling it. Don't look at it." All right. Tell her the bad news. You know, I'm back. Um, look at the time. <laughs> I literally spent all this time within like ten minutes. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I am the seed, apparently. I should actually paint, paint myself blue. My hair is already very spiky, so... <laughs> Hiya! Hey, you're back? Did you find the lawyer? Did you? Did you? Really enthusiastic? Um, well... Should I bring the news to her? Well... you see, um... Mmm, this is a little bit tough. I really don't think you should use that guy. Like, uh, when I look at his office and then look at your pocket. Oh, I don't think painting even... for one second? Like, I don't even think you have a pocket. Like, do you even have money? <laughs> he kind of like, um... Then seem healthy, like um maybe a little bit diabetes and a little bit heart attack. Like he was all You're reverse all skins and bone. Uh, what really happened? You know, you don't mean he refused to help. Um, um. If you have money, I guess, no. <sighs> I see. I've been abandoned then. Geez, dramatic. I mean, true, but dramatic. Well. <laughs> I okay. guess talk to her? Oh, do we have anything to present first? Nope, nothing new. Okay, just talk. 
your family. Damn, okay. What about family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very, very young. My mum went to get milk. <laughs> oh, she probably did. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. She oh, actually know, went to get is. milk. <laughs> All right. Oh, like she definitely go get milk and never came back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's talk about your mum. The woman in my family uh, has been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. And then she apparently went and get a milk and never came back, huh? Yeah. Apparently the spirits weren't enough. Yeah, she needed she needed the calcium from the milk. <laughs> About 15 years ago, our family was involved in, a, in an accident. It, uh, whatever. <laughs> Their name was Maya. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> there was a man, and he... He... He ruined our mother's life! Hmm, in what way? Yeah, mm. wait. Hmm. Mm. Puzzle. Mm. Ruin. Are you just like divorce? After after that, she oh, it's an affair. Uh, after oh, okay. that, she disappeared. Several years later, after that, my sister announced that she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Mm, definitely, the ghost told her what happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Your mom's the cheating. Ghost is like, don't, don't <laughs> So now you live by yourself? No, I have my ghost friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm getting used to it. Oh, also, oh wait, she's happier now. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I will lose my powers. That is so sad. What? Um, or you lose your power, so you have to be independent and have to talk to girls every day because you're lonely. Oh <laughs> so you God. keep talking, <laughs> so you lose your power. <laughs> well, I definitely feel bad for her now. Up on the mountain, like a hermit. Feels nice actually, like oh nowadays, gosh. compared to nowadays. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my god, okay. So, who was this man that ruined your mother's? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. Okay, hold on a little bit. I don't think this thing has anything relation about this case at all. <laughs> Made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. Hmm, let like I say, not relation to this one. Yeah, wait, you can't use evidence from all other cases. Well, I, I mean, this is just about a mother, I guess. Yeah. But... The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. What kind of milk she is buying? <laughs> it's some show milk. <laughs> Did she went to the infinite Ikea? Uh. Okay, wait, wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, then they? Police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Ah. That's so, why we care. Okay. What happened? It's solved. We fought. You thought, like, well, talk to ghosts was never really a good idea in the first place. <laughs> they just yap, yap, and yap. <laughs> the man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Ah, uh, good job, guys. Dun, dun, dun. You must talk to the wrong girls. Like, that girls definitely have some hatred stuff there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll finish business. Police's consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. Oh, so the, when every single time police cannot solve any case oh. they go to the temple and then ask for help <laughs> bravo 
What's his face? Uh, the go Goosebump dude? He's like, he, he's a frequent, he's a, he's a frequenter. Hmm. A man found out about it and leaked it to the press. Of course! Doctors, uh, no, police are finding people talk to ghosts in order to solve cases. Anyone would do yeah. it. <laughs> he told all the papers that my mom was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. Wait, this isn't even. Okay. Okay. Anyone would do that. I, I think this is a very normal situation. Yeah, like, I thought it was gonna be like, like some bad shit. No, it's kind of actually really normal. Yeah. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. You know, our Malaysia have something called Raja Bomo. If you don't know about it, try to search about it and you know about it. Raja Bomo. <laughs> I see. Phoenix is like, I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> Why? Oh, whoa, whoa there, whoa there. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Excuse me, like what? <laughs> that was his name. My sister told me, "Yo, Mister White, is that you?" <laughs> <laughs> like which white? I know a lot of white. <laughs> Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. You know what? Phoenix is like, I'm right here, asshole. <laughs> it's full. Yeah. Time's up. You can't pay anyone. You can't pay me. Hmm. Just, I, I still need that ramen. Can <laughs> <laughs> I just leave her so, or go ramen. home? Uh, defend Maya, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, defend her. My heart says to go home, but like, defend her. We'll just yeah. defend her. There'll be no point. <laughs> Let's see what the dice says. Okay, it's a defender. Oh, you pressed it. <laughs> <laughs> I made up my... Alright, alright, alright. I made up my mind. I can't get the ramen. You have to cook it for me. <laughs> I'm going to defend you whether you want me or not. Because I really need that ramen. He hasn't eaten in days. He's an unpaid intern. Why? I'm hungry. I've been wanting to eat since yesterday. Mia, uh, uh, Mia for, promised me a free food. I go there, I only smell blood. Yeah. Uh, I was expecting some like really nice broth. Nah, it was blood. <laughs> Can we roll for this one? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, two. Two. Oh, okay. All right. I know, Bill. definitely. I actually have six cents. I already seen who is the culprit. It's a pig head one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are not the culprit. <laughs> Someone else is. I'm a better medium than you. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know that? Like, seriously, how, how do you know? Because I'm a better medium than you. <laughs> You suck. <laughs> Even the evidence, like, it's oh, easy to assume that Maya was a killer because of that freaking receipt. Like, Maya <laughs> is written in there. Click turn. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something about this whole thing smells fishy. Like wearing the, wearing the sunglass. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, like, sushi. What do you mean? She's completely normal. So normal, <laughs> by the way. Witness strange behavior. Hmm. What's that on the act? She did almost oh, went crazy is... and caught shit on me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and a fat ass lawyer refused to help out my. Oh my god. <laughs> More than that, all that. Just no one left to help her. But seriously, I wonder if this is a I'm way hungry. to get back at the mother. <laughs> yeah, I think this is all a revenge scheme. Yeah. 
Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I no. am hungry. I need my ramen. <laughs> That's why I am starving, please. I haven't been paid. She haven't paid me yet. I just thought this week. You said she would give me the paycheck or whatever we were at dinner. She lied. Oh just give the check by dying. <laughs> I've been dead a long, long time ago, and I'm still hungry. My tummy is still growling. I've been eating for years. <laughs> Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? I heard I can be rich. I can eat. <laughs> because I'm supposed to look out for the people who have no one's in the side. By me. I need food! Okay, but what if they're actually a killer bar? Alright, Maya. Unless you cook ramen for me, like, I, I definitely, like, do not abandon you because, like, your sister still owes me salary and a bunch of ramen <laughs> promised. So you can definitely count on me. You still owe me a lot. Like, literally, it's an actual debt. That's so kind of you. <laughs> she went cuckoo. She's like, you think I could pay off your debt? <laughs> your ramen debt? Okay, well, you fight this one and get you out of here, and you can cook me ramen. Hey, thank you. All right. Yeah, this you smile means like it's a verbal agreement. This is a verbal agreement. She have to pay me afterward and get ramen later. Okay. Okay, one last question. You listen, right? Despite the, uh, the written Maya and the receipt. Yes, of course I am. And I trust you. Do not trust me. Trust on ramen. <laughs> okay. Trust the ramen. It's a deal. So you have to pay me the salary that me uh, me haven't paid me, and then the ramen. Man need the ramen though. So <laughs> what's next is there's something that's still been bugging me, like the gosh dang screwdriver. I haven't touched it yet. This was inside that strange women's drawer. Yeah. I can't fight. You just want to try to look in the drawer that she got all defensive. I want to claw shit out of my eyes too. There has to be something there. With my special detective eye, I still can't see it, sadly. Alright, I guess we're gonna go back. I don't know. So, go back? Where? Yeah, I guess go back to the hotel. Yeah. He really wants to see what's in that drawer. Okay, buddy. Hello. I think. Good I afternoon, sir. Yes, like I was like thinking like, yeah, what a snobbish voice <laughs> we need. Yes, good afternoon. Um, excuse me, you are. Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Ah, alright, so... I'm just oh, coming to deliver please. room service, sir. Okay, do you know where Miss May might be? Well, I believe uh, our guest Miss May is currently using the... er... Uh, facilities. Okay, she's shitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you uh, if you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. And also, you just uh, please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. And then he pulls out a little phone that says uh, 15, 20, or twenty five percent tip. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and still, like this is the shittiest bellboy. I'm just a random person coming in. Yep, it's not tea. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. No, yeah, you are shitty waiters. I'm not actually like. Hey. 
<laughs> Why every single time I come here, like weird ass people just popping up everywhere? That's my chance! You came back stupid and quick! Like faster than me, like uh, yes. go creep places in like 10 seconds, not 10 minutes. <laughs> Oh, you uncouth bastard. This is not a normal teapot. This is a genie's teapot. My genie's teapot. <laughs> oh my god. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? I definitely, you're just doing a very bad job and there's no remember you're doing you need to do a good job. Please tell her oh, that what? Mr. White of Blue Corp. Yo, yo. Her. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, oh right, sure, sure, Mr. White. Actually, wait. It actually is just Jesse and Walt Air. <laughs> so, Mr. White, like the cleaning, uh, cleaning agent? That guy must be bald. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Hmm, where did I heard that name? Why that was his name? My sister told me. What? It is a revenge game. Oh, why it was the name of the guy who ruined me and me, my mother? All right, all right, all right, all right. Could it be a coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Hello, no, hey, no, no, no. George, George, George. Quick before she comes back. Okay, there's a screwdriver sticking out of the data half. Oh, open. Why? Why couldn't she just stick it inside? Why? Yeah. Why? Why the screwdriver is out? That was my chance. Wait. Oh, what do we have here? Why that? Hmm. What would a woman like her like be doing with things like this? Maybe she's an international spy that I didn't know. And then totally spies music, they start playing inside the toilet. What have added to the courtroom? <laughs> oh yeah, her name's April May. You didn't think that was the suspicious part? Well, there is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in the hotel room? Unless it's the previous customer, I don't know. Well, there's definitely a story behind all this. Too. I now, don't yeah. clean the room out. Then wear the, wear the sunglasses again. Ow. <laughs> all right. I'll be using this bit of now. So far, every single time. I'm just like have a mental note on the evidence on the like court record, but this time I literally are grabbing evidence. Yeah, we're literally taking stuff from like yeah. areas. Oh, it's definitely for my sake we are thief now because we really yeah. need that ramen. Like, how do you not add this? You're Edgeworth, come on. I get to this woman's bar. Wait, mm -hmm. that that's just very wrong phrasing. So oh wait, I mean like you know what I mean. Kirei <laughs> instantly regretted what he said. Uh, Double Mama is still there. Uh, Jump out time. the window! Fade in the darkness. Forward to tag going with you tomorrow. Just, just Decker, Decker. Oh, Tango. Look forward to the next tango with you next time. Tomorrow, Miss Faye? In court! Aha! The music starts playing. Okay. Here's the thing. It's late night for you guys. Uh, technically, it's not for you. Yeah. Do you guys want to save this for next time? Oh, I really, I really want to see where it ends. Uh, yeah, you guys want to finish it? I, I'm really right. hungry and I want to take a shower, but also I want to see where this ends. So let's <laughs> let's finish this court case and then we're done. Okay. Yeah.
I don't think with your pay with our pace we can actually finish it fast. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me go check my schedule. See when I have to leave to work. Yeah. Yeah. Um. If we want, we can schedule next time, either Sunday or like t next week Friday again. Holy shit! Okay. Um. I leave at two o'clock. And now for you. Uh, it's eleven, so I have three hours. We're chilling. Okay. All now right. why you say holy shit for? As long as you're sure. September seventh, ten a.m. District Court courtroom number one. Last time we are in number two. Oh, it's this guy. I was like, I should know. Court I felt like no. I was familiar. In session four, trials of Miss Mayfair. Now I know who he is. I think I can do this. The prosecutor is ready, your honor. I think I yeah, should do good. like my deep voice for her. Oh, you're, you're gonna do Edgeworth? Yes, I think. Okay. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Oh shit, I need to do two. I guess you can try Phoenix. I did Phoenix yeah. or like uh, I Edgeworth. I from you in the TNG, so I'm like, maybe I should always be the prosecutor. Yeah, I think you should, man. Yeah, yeah, that works. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgewood. Definitely tails. And I'm definitely sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. I better not show any sign of weakness today. Like Spike. Like, I can't handle Spike. Oh, he'll be on me in an instant, like tossing Spike at me. I immediately lost all my ring. Ooh, I'm gonna be on him. Mr. Hatchworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Fay, uh, Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she has committed this murder. Uh, look, I know it's sus, but... And we have a witness who's... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, anyway. And uh, she is quite a... Uh, convincing, if I may say. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the fact of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Miss Ashworth. Let's begin. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Oh shit, okay. Now you have to do that voice. Okay, you can take it back, you can take it back. Witness, please state your name and professions to the court. Sir! <laughs> pal, sir. My name's Dick Gumshoe, but we don't talk, call me Dick. We call me Richard Gumshoe. <laughs> sir, pal. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir, and if I may say myself, I'm pretty good at it. Detective Gumshoes. Please. Describe for us the detail of this murder. <laughs> Very well, sir pal. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. Oh shit! <laughs> the body was found by this window right here. And and the cause of death. Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. Apparently, yeah, did she die immediately? W whatever. Uh, okay, whatever. Yeah, loss of blood. Oh, go with that she one. died immediately. Yeah. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir, pal. Mr. Man Edgeworth, if. It it was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accept the statue as evidence. They're still calling it statues. All pan added to the courtroom. All right. Now, detective. Yeah. Yes, sir, pal. 
You immediately arrest Miss Mayafe, who was found at the scene, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you tell me why? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, yes, yeah, sir. I, I had hard evidence she did it, sir. I looked at it with my own two eyes. Hmm, <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about its hard <laughs> evidence. Well, look at my eyes. They're quite hard if you say, if I do say so myself. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. All cool, like, you know, because I'm going to take gumshoe. There were two people there, uh, there already. The defendant, Mrs. Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. To be honest, I do think Phoenix Wright should be in this, um, attorney role, because, like, he's <laughs> definitely <laughs> involved. Yeah, he's winning, isn't he? Yeah, he's all really he is I don't know why definitely he's involved in this here. case. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it was my executive decision not to, because I'm Detective Gumshoe. I immediately arrested Mrs. Maya Bay because... A handsome man such as himself could not be the culprit. <laughs> oh, she well, back. We had a witness all count describing her. In the top I room, all right. Her. The witness saw Mrs. Maya Faye at the very moment of a murder. It had to be her. I think. <laughs> Just had to be her. <laughs> hmm. Very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examinations. Oh, shit. Yes, sir, your honor. And, um, to be honest, like, um, one, room is dark. Second, hmm. She witnessed it the moment. No, no, but I literally spent in there no. dancing a little yeah, bit, she traumatized said someone so. a little bit, and then she called. Hmm. No, but she, she would never lie this time. I know she's always lying about it, what? and she's drunk, but, you know, she wouldn't this time. You know what? I couldn't even see a single contradiction. Hmm. I wonder. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. I think Maya just threw something at me. Wait, what is this? Is this like exchanging like evidence like in between court with the wit uh, Wait, with the I victim <laughs> with, with the accused? <laughs> when my sister can when my sister can find any contradictions in a witness testimony, she would bluff and pressure witness on every detail. All right, basically ask everything. Okay. That the sounds like a really shit strategy. Kind of way. Up and it kind of does, wrong. yeah. It I guess sometimes people time. slip, but like, what if like one time it wasn't? What are you gonna do then? All right. Yeah. I think this kind of interrogation stuff should be started at a very, 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 very early stage. But all right, and we do it on court then. <laughs> all right, let's give this a try. Something to the matter. No, Your Honor. Uh, I I like to begin my. Cross examinations. Cross examination. Maya Faye arrest. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. So press everything. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, 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 press through. Hold it. Hold it. Who did you say you got a call from? Uh, uh hey pal, don't don't play dumb. You know who. <laughs> you know the 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 pretty lady, the weird. Well, the one with the weird voice. <laughs> the call was from a customer at the uh, Gatewater Hotel right across the crime scene. Hmm, alright, I pressed. Nothing much happened though. Uh, alright, alright, please continue. <laughs> there were two people right, uh, there already. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, how long will you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at a scene. Well, uh, my car broke down, so I did a little bit of a jog, <laughs> but <laughs> I run really fast. It took me three minutes. That's pretty good. 
Is the precinct like super like... duper close to this place? Like, how do you yeah, run be, yeah. three uh, minutes? No, only a few kilometers away, or not even a kilometer. That's away, also a fact. You know? It's a story too, sir. Yeah. That is like mighty fast. Our motto this month is quick response, and I must say my life. What if it's true because someone died, sir? You you are not fast enough. To <laughs> That's how I got there before the killer got away. Uh, yeah, sure. sure. That run was sponsored by Gatorade. The only uh, fuel I need as the detective. Oh, Gumshoe, don't sponsor Gumshoe! <laughs> so, tell us who did, who did two people you found in the scene were. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. The defendant, Mrs. Mayfair, and the lawyer, Mrs. Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> All right, are you absolutely, definitely, quintuply, oh ultra mega sure it was us? Yeah, it was dark, you know. Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. Uh, I, th I think, um, uh, with her funky hippie clothes and her your fucking hair, uh, I I'm pretty sure it was you. You yeah, know what, fair enough. The First, really there's not funky hippie clothes. Those are cultist clothes. And for my hair, how dare you judge this very spiky, uh, sonic hair? You can stand out like very suspicious people out of crime. I can tell it with my I'm my really hands were self-defense! <laughs> well, he does have a point out there. She's pretty unmistakable a cultist. That I am not sus! Draw <laughs> little little star signs under the floor, pentagon, something like that. And then like, yeah, they definitely do that. I should pick my point to press a little bit. I immediately arrested this man. What the <laughs> fuck? Let me speak, <laughs> asshole. Oh God. What's, what's that? Like, what's your reasons? <laughs> Why well, we had a witness account describing her? How? Can, can you just let me fucking? Can you let me fucking speak? <laughs> Hold like, on, like, how? just a second, like, now. Actually, how? Yeah. If I heard correctly, you say you arrest her because you had hard evidence she did, correct? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. My two eyes. D did I say that? Me? Mm -hmm. uh, must have been a ghost. <laughs> I can't even speak. It's like two cheap boys in like rapid sessions. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can try to do it now. You did it? You did it! You did it. Exactly what about the suspicious woman in pink cling was hard evidence. What? And Miss May isn't suspicious. She she sure isn't pink, pal. She she's she's cool. Huh? She uh she she uh 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 well, He said me are a lot to me. Hmm. That's enough, Detective Kumshu. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claim, Detective? Um uh, I made it the fuck up. Uh -huh. I um, guess pressing I does have its advantage. By not letting him speak at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. I, I, I Wait, what the? Ah, oh, gosh, I shouldn't ask him. <laughs> I pulled it out of my ass. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony. Your, your honor, you say, my pal. There was something I should have told you about but first, your honor. Very well, detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Uh, please don't. Yeah, I'm just, Phoenix, you piece of shit, don't you dare interrupt me. <laughs> After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own two eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. 
It said Maya on it. What else could it be? It had to be Maya. I believe a random writing in blood. Lab test results showed the blood was the victim's. And apparently it didn't get muddied by Phoenix, right? Or Maya's fucking fingerprints or DNA all over the place. <laughs> also, there was blood found on the victim's fingers, showing some sort of a struggle. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name! <laughs> How you like that? That's my heart evidence. Yeah, see, that one makes sense. He should have opened with that. Yeah. Before we begin cross examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Uh, yeah, Your Honor? Why did you testify about this final piece of evidence in the first place? Yeah. You should have headlined with that, uh, man. Uh, I, uh, I know. I'm real oh, poor thing. I forgot about it, Sir Bell. Your honor. Try to be more careful. Oh, gosh. You're so like, like, getting Bell, like, older honor. and endless. My heart just can not get it. Well, very well. The defense may begin no, its cross examination. I'm sure you're going to make the judge have a heart attack. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I can't press Q. I ah, shit. With the crime with my own two eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Oh, wait. I can't oh, press Q again. Okay. I, I, I can't. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't. Oh, I, can't. Oh, I need to. Okay, stop doing that. <laughs> Did you find any evidence? Now, 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 don't jump the gun on me, pal. You like this guy. Listen, I'm getting to the good part. Yeah, this, this is why uh, Magnus loves this guy. I think so, maybe, yeah. I got a bad feeling about this. I found a memo written on a piece of paper. I'm fucking hell! <laughs> Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean it's the victim wrote it, you know? Hey. Oh, then who did write it? Smarty pants. The killer? Who? Yeah. Um, uh, I did. I did. Wait, wait, wait. Two. Oh my god, okay, yeah. Well, um, we could have been the witness, Miss May. Objection. Hold on. The witness was in her hotel room, not the office. Try pulling the other leg, Mr. Wright. Yeah, <laughs> and while you're at it, pull my tube, sir, pal. Ah. Well done, detective. Tell us what was written on the memo you found. On it, the word Maya was clearly written. Are you sure? I was looking, <laughs> damn it! Do you have any proof that was Maya the one who wrote that? Of course I do, pal! Ah, uh, oh shit. He sounds really confident in this one. I might be able to screw it. It's gonna be like this blood on her finger. <laughs> That test results showed the blood was the. Uh, the oh, okay. God damn it! What kind of test would this again? What kind? Uh huh. What kind? <clears throat> um. Well, uh, uh, some guy in the sky with green hair is telling me it was protein test uh, testing for the uh, the specific uh, order of the amino acids of the, not amino acids of the fucking nucleic acids. For the fucking I said I feel like it'd be in this courtroom too, just yapping out at something written. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were testing for the codons. Anyway, I hear they take the uh, um, little bits in the blood, um, the hemoglobin, uh, hemoglo, uh, hemo goblins, goblin these nuts. Uh, My God, goblin, goblin your mom. Uh, I refuse to testify on this matter, pal. I am no expert on blood tests, I am an expert on detective! Oh, yes, that was quite clear. You may continue with your Hi. testimony. Detective <laughs> Shoe, sir, pal, your honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> yeah! I look forward to your next evaluation, as you should say. 
Oh, oh. Uh. That was that a mess. That was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> right, where was I? <laughs> also, there was blood found on the. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on which hand was the bloody finger, detective? Uh, the right hand. Hmm. Ah, she was left. I'm kidding. She was right hand. <laughs> Let's try, idiot detective. Now, every single time is getting more complex. <laughs> well, half detective, part time detective. Oh, the victim wrote the killer's name! Detective Gumtree, do you get a <laughs> lot of cases where the victim actually managed to write the killer's name? Uh, sure, it, happen it happens all the time in books and movies. Uh... And, and there's a book I'm writing. <laughs> this isn't a movie, Detective. What do you mean? <laughs> um, alright, alright, alright. Let's, let's get back to reality, shall we? Um, I, I guess. I haven't heard of many cases, no. Okay, don't you find a little bit suspicious? A little bit sus? A little bit odd that the victim would write down a name before she died? Especially with the name of her own sisters. Like maybe it's some other message, like Maya knows something, or Maya does Maya that, you know? Uh, uh yeah, uh, actually, you got a point, pal. Objection! Objection! Stop right there. <laughs> the witness's oh opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. It should be obvious. Hold up! Hold up! That then goes over. No, that, that's right. What he said. <laughs> Thanks, pal. That's his whole testimony. Alright, there has to be some contradiction somewhere. Let's find it. Now we got new informations. Um, I don't think we have to say it again. I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. So, should we try to open yeah, the Yeah, yeah, let's... Like, um, like, we, we the, need to reread uh, everything first. Um, no, no, I, I got it. So we need to cross-examine the, um... The statue with it. This one? Or the autopsy. Go, go for the autopsy, because she didn't bleed out. She, uh... She died in an instant. That's the biggest thing. That piece of paper next to the victim body. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, so, if she died instant, how would she write yeah, the name? That is what invalidates this uh, testimony. Okay, Good. this one. Present. Objection. Yep. Objection! Detective Kamshu? There's one thing I want to ask. I want you to clarify for me. Like, this is a very crucial evidence here. You say the victim, Mia Fei, wrote this note and then was tapped. Click tap. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> That she was accusing the defendant of my fay, am I right? The re that's really what you're saying. Uh, what? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it, Sir Pal? Of course you wrote it. Who else could have? A ghost? Ghost. Oh. You have it backward, you know, detective. But backwards? Well, I think I'm facing forward. Oh. The victim is only person who absolutely could not have written anything on it. This is a report from your department, detective. You literally gave me it. <laughs> yeah. And I also no, I being like I, the I, I world best autopsy doctors slash lawyers slash engineers slash anything that you can find, and I already did, uh, I already deducted myself is a instant kill on a blunt object. She immediately died! Time. Literally, instant kill! 
Splat! Double kill! Penta kill! Penta kill! <laughs> but, but... Not, 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 not butting your way out of this night, detective. The fish got her. Hold up! Hold up! The fence has a point. Someone who dies immediately wouldn't have the time to write anything down. Objection! Objection, Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but... When exactly did you obtain the, that autopsy report? But, uh, uh the when? The day after the murder. Yeah, after. From Mr. Gumshoe. After, alright. It was, like, the day after the murder. Prosecution point being! <laughs> well... That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. Then you should what? update me in the first place! Yes, sir, you should update uh, us! A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Oh, no, don't trust it. Death was almost immediate due to blow from a blunt object. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I will say I believe that because you received these results in this the morning first. after I paid them dude very handsomely. But that is unrelated <laughs> to the thing. Yeah, this is not related. Gosh, dang it. Your honor, your honor. It's quite easy to imagine the uh, that the victim did have time to write Maya, nice. according to my autopsy report. That is all. Oh, Gosh dang it, that's what. I should have known something is up there, or like, shouldn't they update me about anything about this? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> no, no, no. Why, right, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Of course, I just know now. <laughs> <laughs> you know something you want to say? You know, I want to say something like. Holy shit, like, if any new evidence brought up is, like, should be go on a jaw and then, like, take a break? Maybe okay, a next day or after a few months and then, like, we start another trial again and then start doing this shit. And be like, he is a new the Okay, which, right. which you want? <laughs> I'm a chef. Active as a chef. Or you're a chef. Uh, honestly, Edward's a sham. Okay, you want to say this? Alright. Yeah, yeah. Because shouldn't he brought that to the judge if there was a new change? Mr. Ashwood? Yeah, you have to bring it to the court first. I guess there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason the you card. could possibly have to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attack from <laughs> persecution. The judge is like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No matter, your honor. Mr. Wright? Say what you will, the evidence is the report. The evidence in the report in this re <laughs> Say what you will, the evidence in this report is undeniable. Hey, <laughs> girl. Your honor, I submit this report to the court. Are you sure? Well, Understood. The court has sent evidence. Die from a blow from blow check. May have lived for a few minutes, so she suffered for a few minutes before she died. Good. Nice information. Edgeworth is, you know, it does make sense, sir. Yeah. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim has was identified. The girl is identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion. Yes. He's like, yeah, I guess so. My case. Get Gosh, right. dang it, this... this isn't... good... The prosecution would like to call its next witness! Holy shit, oh we have God. another one? <laughs> this poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Now that I call <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> She's not poor or innocent, let's be real.
<laughs> Let the witness, Miss April May, take the star. Exactly what part of her is this? Is, 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 like last time she wanted to claw my eyes out. Again, my eyes. I'm totally not being threatened by her at this moment. Witness, your name, please. <laughs> Ryu, it's a job now. <laughs> Tinky, April May at your service. <laughs> Order! An introduction should not require reaction from the crowd. Witness will refrain from wanton winking. Wow. Yes, Your Honor. This is a sham. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Mm -hmm. Definitely not me. Like I, I, I can first thing spot she's crazy. God, I hope Phoenix. <laughs> Everyone who talks like that is crazy. Yeah. Home. Tell us, tell us, where were you on the night of September fifth when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. Yeah. Hold on a minute. It's night time. Are you checking out? <laughs> <not? laughs> Wait, actually. And this hotel is directly across the, from the Fay and Co. law offices. Mm-hmm. That's right. Big boy. Don't call me that. Vince <laughs> testifies to court about what you saw. <clears throat> oh, okay. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. It already I can say hold on on this one because like lunch yeah, nine, yeah, thing, yeah. it doesn't match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like it already doesn't match. God fucking damn it. And then ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. How good is your eye? <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, the one attacking her was the messy girl sitting in the defendant chair. Why is she a mouse now? Uh, and then the woman like dodged to one side and ran away. Wait, what? Wait, what? But that girl, she caught up with her and and she hit her. Oh, this is okay. Okay. And then the woman with long hair, she kind of slumped. Wait, she wouldn't have been able to see her through the window uh, from that angle. Because yeah, that's all I saw. Every little itsy bitsy. I said that, whatever. I'm, I can't wink anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> I don't think your mom can either. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, your honor. That seems quite sound, yes? I see. It's remarkably yeah, solid so testimony. Much sense. <laughs> Don't see a need to trouble any uh, trouble to witness any. Wait, 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 Yana. Wait a whole gosh dang minute. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross examinations? I I thought the witness testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? She didn't really sound like a sucker. Uh, Your Honor, please stop. I paid you a lot of money not to. I <laughs> Mr. Wright, I understand you were uh, uh, Miss uh, Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her, her cowardly ways of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Oh, so she can uh, talk to girls. That's why she know. And, <laughs> and how? Hey you! Take my take out my glove. <laughs> I shall take off my glove in response. Well, Mr. Wright, yes. will yes. you cross yes. examine yes. the witness? Yes. I'll gladly proceed with the cross examination because I already spot a lie in front of it. There's <laughs> uh, several. I, I told you no cross examinations. I paid you a lot of money, dude.
If only because I have a feeling of Edgeworth doesn't want me to. Definitely is that one first. She has to, she has to have some weakness. Like last time I tried to just touch her stuff, she almost killed me. <laughs> well, well, you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. So it was like nine. Hold it! Why do you do that? Huh? Huh? Why? Like, why, why? Why did you look out the window out of nowhere? Did you see Mace Window falling out the window? Where would you expect to see? It's a gushing building. <laughs> um, but... Gee. What? That's it? That's all? That's the respawn? Alright. <laughs> I sort of, um, you know. I got a feeling. I you got, got a feeling someone's gonna be murdered. Ooh, bullshit. Guys, uh, I'll be right back. My glasses just came. Alright. Uh -huh. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the questions. Very freaking suspicious, and maybe I should press a little bit more hard on this one. Hmm. Mm hmm You gonna go for it? Yes, yes. Alright, let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had reasons to look out your window at the time of night. Of random. Objection. Objection. Mr. Wright, I will not have you battering my witness. Battering? You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. <laughs> All right, hold it, hold it. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl, that, that one, poor girl. I'm have you seen her eye? Sir. She was shooting laser at me almost. You look out the window, what did you see next? I uh, saw so a woman from having a tank. Press again? I mean, I guess, I guess you could see that technically. Uh, press it again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, press it. The woman with long hair. That that was me a favor. Mm hmm Sort of, sort of. Well, some people might say pretty. That's your thing. Damn. What a bitch. Your thing? Only interest in money and ramen. <laughs> and the person attacking her. Attacking her was the massy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Hmm. <laughs> Basically, just stab it. <laughs> How do you know she was the defendant? She had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Gosh. Look, I, I just know it, okay? Trust me. The fuck you're seeing? There's no like in that. Scene of the crime with a short girlish figure. It could have only That's been her. That's weird. They, they, she can the see, but there was no light. Your honor. Hmm. hmm. No I question. Hold on a gosh dang minute, like... This testimony... smells a little bit fishy. I mean, like, stinky fish. Testimony stinks! Oh my like, god. Like, stink ball <laughs> kind of stink. Like, stink hey, bomb kind of stink. You... Like, my toilet forgot to clog the kind of stink. 
<laughs> Miss May? I'm willing to bet. Are you saw nothing? You're lying. What you oh, want? Oh, I, f I feel like you saw nothing. Yeah, well, I no, do think like she, she can't see anything. Like, because like, here's the, the... thing. <laughs> see this? Oh, right. Yeah, oh, she right. yeah. definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. cannot see anything. Like, the glass is <laughs> yeah. like... Okay, okay. Like, she is lying, but she also just saw nothing. It basically, yeah. both is the same thing, but I think it's yeah, more it's accurate, weird. this one. Yeah. Okay, you saw nothing. Did you really see the defendant at all? <laughs> mur, 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 Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what's the meaning of this? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this. I mean, that is so sus, eh, yo? Yeah. Okay, playing dumb, huh? If you had really witnessed my climb, my affair, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Like, holy shit, yeah. what is your eye, woman? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> No one wear clothes on the on daily basis except her. Like, holy <laughs> yeah, shit! The first thing wild. you know is not physique. It's like, gosh dang it! Is this a cultist or something? <laughs> like, not they literally cultist. are doing blood sacrifice she in the room. <laughs> I may be no expert on fashion. With her hair, with her clothes, is definitely like yes. You should call police when such things happen, but. First thing you see, you will say like a cultist is in that room trying to murder people. Not a cultist! <laughs> <laughs> However, like the witness testimony mentioned neither of these things. Testimony is freaking bogus! Like, this is a kangaroo court! Hey, that is not the definition of a kangaroo court. This is just a really paid off court. Get it right. <laughs> Alright. Read it. Oh, it's all hacked. Bet, Still, we don't know if she is well dressed that way. Well, actually, we do. The night of murder. She was your honor. She haven't changed the entire day. She stank. Yeah, she she was put in jail yeah. with those clothes. Also, I am technically the eyewitness. I should say that, but still. Yeah. Uh, uh, yikes. Technically, also that uh, <laughs> detective <laughs> Gumtree <laughs> there actually saw everything and, you know, everything. Hey, what? I, I didn't see shit. What? Uh, hmm. What do you say to that, Miss May? What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Yeah, cultist blood sacrifices too is a very important thing for motive, you know. <laughs> Miss May! The court would like to remain you. Please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Winky face. <laughs> Look, I can't <laughs> wink, okay? I'll do the wink if I could wink. You wink just face. say winky face, then it's done. <laughs> yeah. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had it. Yeah, that was close. I don't know why we didn't mention the light bulb, though. Yep. Maybe we can present instead. <clears throat> I did! I did say everything! I did! The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the heavy clothes ran right after. Okay, that's a bit far. Now, you need to know this one thing. This particular area... Where she's standing is where the light drop. Aha! Yeah. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock. 
Um, can I? Statue cookie thing? I, I think? The finger? I, I guess? Now! Yeah, how'd you know the clock? Yes, another bullshit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, does the accuracy of my report not sally? <laughs> well, which one you want? The light first or the statue first? You want to say, like. Clock. Statue. Statue. Statue first. Yeah, okay. do statue. So I think it would be more. Say. than that we are a lawyer. Oh, I yeah, only that's wish true. you had been so detailed from the very beginning. This judge is so fed up of both these witnesses. We yeah. He's yeah. Like, Begin he's the cross examination. <laughs> I'm having aneurysm. <laughs> Let's just wait till uh till they mention the clock. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, Mia, may, may you may. Oh, click tab. You have evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Objection! Oh, bullshit! My honor. <laughs> <laughs> what you say just now was quite revealing. Like way too tiny, a little bit detailed. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, you naughty Mr. Lawyer? Okay, shut up. You <laughs> just <laughs> say that the statue of the finger was a freaking clock. But, you know, from last uh, last trial and to this one, no matter how you see this thing, it's a freaking statue. Uh, uh, uh. Another person in much the same position as you recently called as a clock too. And he was found guilty of murder. Because like he think like how do you even know it's a clock in the first place? <laughs> Were you suffering from success? <laughs> We're getting told to shut the fuck up my hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Miss May. Can you explain how you know this gosh dang uh, curse object uh, that made by Larry Butt? It's a clock. Howdy, I'm Larry Butt. Hey, <laughs> uh, 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 Objection! Objection. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all the, that's important. Another bullshit. Hmm. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with the uh, trivial concerns. And please stick to the fucking script, Miss May. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, of course you will withdraw your question, Miss Wright. Objection! Oh, another bullshit to say, you know. As you already can recall, like I caught the murder with this question before, you know. Think before, like last episode. Wait. Think Thing before yesterday. Oh, wait, is it yesterday? I I have no that. Wait, uh, I think it's yesterday. No, it's the day before <laughs> yesterday. All right, Why I know these things. Good. Well, only once. It's like, well, I'm um, actually. <laughs> I'm actually. Objection sustained. You may continue the question, the witness. It would be like, bruh, this judge. <laughs> Ah, that was because my bullshitting is actually works. If you stop me now, like, I I really have nothing to say. Huh? What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answering my questions. How the fuck you know it's a clock? I watch TV. <laughs> 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 Has I heard it? Yes, I heard it say the time. Why does she know that though? What the fuck? You do not just have super duper eye there. Now you have super duper ears that you yeah, claim. Like, she's literally just one person have that, and that is me, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't say that. Why would I go there? It smells. 
<laughs> what? I heard it from my. Sorry, sorry. Um, I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> Like I say again, but do you what? just have superhuman ability? Are you a freaking yeah, ape, some sort of like to... solid <laughs> snake? <laughs> Are you some sort of solid snake, like Metal Gear Solid Spy here? Like how can you see that far and hear that far? <laughs> Superman? <laughs> I'm <a> Superwoman. <laughs> She's a better, uh, what's it called? Uh, spirit medium than what's her face? No, it's not. The law no, it's offices not. of Banco, where, uh, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. It's obvious Very that, close to the um, freaking road in the middle, man! <laughs> obviously, whenever I throw money at her, she can hear it. She could easily have heard the clock with oh, that in mind. No! <laughs> no! Well, Mr. are you satisfied? Now, remember, remember. In the phone record, that clock is disabled. Mm -hmm. No, your honor. Where's that? Go! I can't give up now. Like, I'm not satisfied because. I couldn't have wrong, might be the easier yeah, one. Yeah, I couldn't have wrong, yeah. Yeah. Your honor? Members of the court, ladies and gentlemen, anyone from sus like uh, among us ship here, I'm going to present you. That's all Phoenix right then. It's inconvincible. The raucous in question can rang the first. Uh, oh, place. it's empty. Yeah, it was empty. It was because clear. the freaking rock, the battery's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. That freaking thing is empty in the first place! It's actually literally just a statue. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How could you possibly know that? Just take a look, like, right now, just, just take it apart. Flick time! Hmm. Oh. Hmm. What? See? Anything interesting in your honor? It's us the defense suit. This clock is missing. This clockwork. What? Did my detectives Ish. not put the batteries back in? What the fuck? What what the fuck? I paid them good money to do that. <laughs> Mr. Wright, would you care to explain the code, the meaning of this? It is that uh, you can see. It's empty. What? What I can explain? Yeah, what else can we explain? <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> the clock was empty. Of course, it can't wrong. It can't wrong. She can't hear. Even she has super hearing. <laughs> I think she got super delusional. <laughs> super delusional. <laughs> super delusional. <laughs> Therefore, like this witness is completely batshit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big. Fat lie that you're looking at that, not just on the chest, like in the brain too. <laughs> fat? What is it, Miss Faye? Oh, May. Do not fat shame me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, it was Miss Faye. You're right. Thank you, Phoenix. Right. <laughs> tisk, tisk, hmm? tisk, Phoenix. Right. Huh? Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. Good show, everyone. Gosh dang you, you know. You may know the evidence. You may know the logic, but I know the judge. And where his kids live. Or go yeah. Wait, okay. I know where his wife and kids live. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was uh, after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Maybe one of my detectives in my second autopsy removed it. You never know. <laughs> but also, maybe I have a phone that have a record that it removed a long time you ago. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hmm, that's true. That it's is a possible spy. thing. The clock might have been emptied out after she heard it. And that's exactly what you hap what happened, Your Honor. I know it for a fact, almost. 
Well, Mr. Eid, can you prove when the clock yep. was removed? Yep, I see. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -mm. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Got to kill it. Uh, impossible, of course. I think you have proof, you know. Ah. What? How? Um, wasn't you who told me to show proof? And I have it! And now I show what? you the freaking proof you want so much! Huh? What? No one's listened to me uh, since my childhood, since I was a little boy. Now, what? first thing first, aside from that, move aside that, and... <laughs> literally! <laughs> Literally, you evidence held out evidence itself. against me. So I'm also doing phone. the same ass thing too. So here's the here's the freaking phone. <laughs> click through it. Click through it. Oh, I can't. Uh, it's not doing this. I need to press E. God dang it. Take a look at this. Also, uh, thank you, Detective Gumtree. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. <laughs> My name ain't Gumtree, by the way. Oh, you have a girly phone! Yeah, you <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This isn't my phone! Listen! This is the defendant's cell phone. How do I get it? Do not ask. <laughs> yeah, do not ask. Technically, it is Detective Gumtree fault if, if anyone asked, okay? Gumtree, I thought I told you this. Do not do it. I was trying. <laughs> a recording of this conversation she had. Had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order. The defendant's cell phone. This wasn't brought to my attention. Hey, you didn't do a second autopsy no. report. Yep. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> you shut that. You the court. I will have your family killed. <laughs> now, we have Detective Gum Shoes overlook oh, something very crucial. It's just number, not like the detail. He did told me about like memories and stuff. <laughs> Somebody's going to get fired. I have better wallet. <laughs> oh no! Poor Gum Tree. I gotta say, like, I'm starting to get the feel bad for that battle. <laughs> uh, let's heard about a conversation first. Yeah, don't, you, you don't have to say yeah. it. Like, it's already... Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, we've heard it like several times. Your Honor? I think this makes and it clear. And she checked in at like lunch, but bing, but a boom. I think this makes it clear. The clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded, and it was what time again? Hmm. I don't have to say too much about it. Not because I forgot it, and which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Yeah, you tell him. Yes. <laughs> Well, Miss May, what can I explain this to the court? Just how super delulu are you that you know the weapon is the clock? Is it? The, I yeah, are the you a nerves. spirit medium too? Oh, are you a spirit medium too that kind of like can hear stuff? Yeah, <laughs> you the delulu. <laughs> well, well. well. Well, is it obvious? I saw that clock before! Um, what slow is it again? I go to so many, you know? Bullshit! <laughs> it's Isaka Hawiki! So the witness has seen it before. That would make sense. Does oh, wait, the defense have, have before, though. any object, Miss Wright? Yes. Yes, Your Honor, you also seen it before. 
I know you're old, doesn't mean you are slowly getting dementia. <laughs> and witness claims she's seen it before, quote unquote. And this directly contradicts the evidence already submitted to court. Because like that is only two of this thing exist. But I'll be damned! Let's see it. Please produce ev this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. Uh, just clock? Yeah. Probably yeah, I think you can just do the Larry because it says Larry or whatever. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It made by Larry Buzz is already written. Badass yeah. yeah. word in there. And is again very simple. This clock was never in any store. And the, like some some actually poor ass dude that like work it in like some sort of cave that they managed to carve this thing out. <laughs> what, what? That's not possible. Well, technically, he's a friend of mine, but still, that he he still lived in like under the bridge. I, I don't know where currently. I can't call him now. <laughs> like only two exist in the world. One is already murdered another people, and this one again murdered another people. I think it's freaking cursed. Get away from that thing. Both of them have murdered um, people now. Because she got the one that didn't murder anyone. And then got murdered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Well, Miss May, I think it's high time you went to shopping for a better excuse because, like, Gosh dang, Larry that made the smooth. worst weird oh my shit. God. That was smooth. Good job, Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Excuse? Not on sales today? Huh. That's another smooth one. Hey. Uh, yuck. What the fuck? What the fuck? What's it to you, you porky pie head? Holy shit! That stupid cook doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! She is. Rubber, rubber, rubber. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get ahead of Judge ourselves. Judge inside, boy. Right? This is a court of law, and witness will remain fucking calm. Finally, shot with the shot with the tranquilizer. Holy shit! Did I um like lose it? Yes, you did. Yep. I guess I did. Wiki. Damn, that's one scary bitch. She is psychotic. Miss May! Wait, oh my god! Let me ask! Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Well, it's simple, see? Oh my god. Hmm, oh dear. Does the defense have any opinion on this behavior? Alright, this is it. I can finally call her a crazy bitch. Or oh, super delusional. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You had a... Mm. Ah. Open the tab. Yeah. Oh yeah, open quick tab. Yeah, <laughs> yeah wire tap, wire tap. You heard about it. Oh yeah, yeah, heard, yeah. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. That is very sure. But however, she had heard that it was clock. She heard. So she is a superwoman. That's <laughs> correct. You're on the way. No, no, no. She is a superwoman. <laughs> There's no other way that she have known the thinker 
was a clock is because I can show you the proof. Hold on, Peter! This is an interesting. <laughs> this thing. is eating popcorn like. Hmm. Let's see it then. Show me the evidence that proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. The wire tape. Have a look at this. I found this in some sort of people room. You can guess. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you, I did not tamper the evidence. Is that right? Please explain to the court what this is. Um, is it Romain? You were wiretapping the victim. Miss Mia Faithful, were you not? <laughs> Objection! Your Honor, this is uh, irrelevant. Uh, I'm not sure entirely! No, I, I'm not... He's like... Uh, he's like, you're not taking me enough, bro! Hmm, uh, I'm not yeah, right. entirely sure. <laughs> Cold order. It is objectively overruled. This troubles me that our witness was in possession of a word app. Wait, <laughs> how... Mr. Phoenix, like, how do you even have that thing? This is outrageous! Does this defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely accurate, I stole it! <laughs> oh, wait, I, I, I get that person to <laughs> I cure it! it. <laughs> hey, even if this was the, if, even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. One thing in particular. Well, two things, but did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? And also, did did I ever say your family was safe, Your Honor? <laughs> Can you prove that? I think not. Oh, yeah, I think I can. It's actually very simple. I just showed you the phone not long ago. Like, gosh dang it. What? I wasn't listening. I was... Uh, Here's my, my proof. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, why is everyone having like, dementia here? The proof is that the victim said on the boat that the weapon was a clock is... I'm not listening! I'm not listening! And I present you again the defense and cell phone. Yes, we've seen that! Listen it once more to the freaking conversation everyone open their ears she can hear the freaking clock you guys maybe yeah. can it's crazy how long we've heard this i have to skip this i guess yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've seen this sorry oh my gosh miss april may use a white tab to listen to these conversations that is how you knew the thinker was a clock, but at the same time, I did not stow the white hat. I will repeat again, I did not stow the white hat. Despite last time I seemed almost take it. Am I wrong? I, I... Objection! Your Honor, this is ridiculous! Your Honor, look at this bullshit witness face. Does she uh, seem uh, uh, amused to you? Dan was the Uwu girl. The defense yeah. demands an answer. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap or not tap or tap danced or tapping? Her phone. Don't judge, please. Miss mm. May. Shut up, all of you. Shut up. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you liar. Damn. Well, technically, oh, that one that, beside uh, you is uh, a lawyer uh, too. 
Disable, yeah, but... you're doing AoE damage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're all getting up on me like that. Oh my god, can we get rid of her? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm the bad girl. Is it? Is it? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Dad. I, I see everything now. Hmm. Hmm. Called it. Now. Deal with the final bill. Which one do you guys want? And technically, both uh, are like very good questions. Why the wiretap? Yeah, do the wiretap. Why did you wiretap a phone in the first place? Um. Now, now, we all know you're bushing a lot, so stop the bullshit. Answer the questions. Do I have to? Is this a meta trial? Isn't TBD tapping at relevant? <sighs> what? No, I'm not being paid. You say exactly what <laughs> you actually want to say. All right, Miss May. May, you were tapping the victim's phone, and I did not steal the white hat, and I hardly really called it irrelevant. Why does Scott does not condone the defense tone of voice? He has the point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you have nothing to do with this murder? Even thought you, even though you tapped her phone. Someone got caught. I like to see you pull that off, Mr. Lawyer. I saw that evil, evil grin. No, I saw the grin of bullshit in front. You probably think I'd like to see her pull that off, aren't you? Oh my gosh, she's psychic. She really is a psychic. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> she might be yeah, actually a psychic. I wouldn't would would her now, would, would you? Oh, well, you're not the first man who's fought that, and of course I can and I will. You can't be serious. Another bullshit like. I'm still waiting on my ramen, bro. Wait, I say wait, and oh, I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <clears throat> okay, so the killing happens around um nine at night, right? Yes, yeah, night time. Well, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet, sweet bellboy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Room service. So. Coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. Oh my god. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. I mean, I guess. Nice coffee. Like, what kind of bush is this crazy bitch talking about? And what is she talking about? I think I'm making this up. I'm just about my wink. Ergo. Ergo. The witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. Are you kidding me? So, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you, kind of, I'm not lying through my teeth, <laughs> that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. She is a lying bitch, but she is an our lying bitch. Oh my god.
Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit the murder. She's just really creepy. She's just a whacker. No. They're going to lots of drug me. Alright. Um, <clears throat> There's no way I can win unless I pull out my ultimate weapon and somehow match your time. Meant... Wait, when is she. <laughs> Does the defense sure. have anything to say? Uh, what do you want to say? No, 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 I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. Mm. Think of something. Think, think, think. Uh, let's just cross, keep crossing her. But like the ball, the bellboy would be really useful here. Mm. All right. Right. On with the cross examinations. What exactly do you have left to examine, Mr. Wright? Have we? Wait, Miss April may have. Uh, uh, Miss April May has uh, admitted to the wiretap, yes. But that bears no relevance to this case at hand of murder. There's no way you can prove any connection. Because I've made sure that there were none. <laughs> uh, oh. Um. Use my brain. Jimmy Neutron. Zoom in. Nothing happened. Shit. Then I believe the cross-examination is oh, what over. Is this for? Mr. Edgewood, does the prosecution have any other witness to call? None, Your Honor. She's the last. Not the book. All right, but that means must guilty. Uh, <clears throat> wait, Yana. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Just a second. Then. Hold on. Yes, Mr. Wright. Bellboy. The defense would like to call the bellboy after all. Hmm. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Grasping at straws again. I think <laughs> yours is like something like that. I can't do that, though. Huh? Oh. That's surprising in you. It's it's weird. As I thought. May I remind you, dear Mr. Wright, should you question the bellboy? And Miss April uh, May's alibi proved to be solid. Your client will be guilty. You know? Again, she already got full of bullshit, so like if there's a second you pair of eyes, the more bullshit would just up. come out. <laughs> you, 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 shut the fuck up. I already said that. Mm. Are you prepared to accept my condition, bitch? What kind of conditions? Like, uh, you, you know we are in court, we can't bet stuff, you know? <laughs> you, you, again, shut the fuck up. But I don't see any other way to take this, to be honest. <laughs> like, he keep calling me shut the fuck up like he may have bought the entire court. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'll accept. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. Oh, this one is time for... Bellboy, bellboy, bellboy. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He, he certainly does look like a bellboy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. is he? You're a bellboy. <laughs> yes, sir. Ready? Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of... Oh, okay, the okay. So I'm happy to be of service. The tea said look red heavy. We don't finish who? Witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir.
I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gate Water Hotel, in business for four generations to come. So you went there for four generations, or...? Yes, my first name is Bell, my last name is Boy, and I am the fourth. I believe I received a call after... After eight o'clock in the evening, where um uh yeah it was eight a, a. Let me check my notes that I was given by the prosecutor. Yes, it was eight p.m. in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Huh. I know something about nine. But yeah, no, she nine. asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. Ah, so that's where the nine come from. Yes. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Um, uh, and, uh, I, I, I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin Crook's examinations. Um, alright. Not a lot to cross actually but so, um <clears throat> this is it and this is my chance and if i can't prove this bullshit i'm fucked my ram is fucked my salary is fucked maya i have no idea maybe she's guilty who knows she is a cultist um if i can't <laughs> prove miss may was involved with the murder now maya may be finished yeah and my ramen's finished. And my salary. <laughs> that's the real that's the real horror. <laughs> and my ramen. Maybe not be finished because you're not gonna get to finish it. <laughs> I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gate Water House. <laughs> Hotel. Ah, God <laughs> fucking damn it. What exactly <laughs> it is you do at the hotel? I well, why anything required of me, sir? And I do mean anything. I check in guests, I check out guests, I wipe people's asses, I take money, and I wipe oh happy people. I clean rooms, I make beds. Uh, I even deliver room service, sir. I checked Ms. Mayne personally. Alright, um, are you always so... Hmm, how should I say? Fred. Mr. Wright, you will refrain from asking favorite question. I believe I received a call after <gasps> eight. Uh, God! <laughs> Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Um, ab absolutely, sir. Alright. Wait a minute. Now, how can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in. Personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radius, but I also heard her beautiful, not cringe at all voice. <laughs> and then I saw them. Them. And I. I am. Er. Uh, uh, what? Um, what? Uh, what? The point being, I remember her quite well, sir. Yes, the what then? Oh, her bonkers, okay. Yeah. She asked for an iced tea to be brought to her at 9pm on the dot. On the dot, you say? Uh, yes. I confirmed that detail several times. And I do mean several times. She was watching it- oh, fucking hell. Nine on the time of the murder. Hmm. I brought it to, uh, to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And this time we respect you for the last part. But still. Precisely nine. Then? Pre precisely, exactly, and most defi definitively, sir, 9 p.m. Okay, well, professional. Uh, how are you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it would be brought to them. Oh, bellboy, teehee, uh, or, <clears throat> oh, bellboy, teehee, I'd like, uh, iced coffee at exactly <laughs> nine, she said. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of nine, sir. Why would she be so particular about the 
time. Without AM and PM. Did I deliver the mm. iced coffee? Our guest, Miss May herself. Alright, wait, wait a minute. How sure is this Miss May herself? Uh, absolutely, sir. Okay, absolutely. I can't forget yes, those boing boing. Oh, very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. Hmm. How come you were certain about this kind of things? Like, uh, well, uh, uh, when I prepped the room service, sir, um, uh, she, uh, she, she, the guests, sir, uh, favored me with, uh, um, an embarrassed, sir. All right, embarrassed, is that like a French word for like, emb like, embrace? Uh, it's French for k kiss, sir. But not a French kisser, uh, more of a peck on the cheek, um, uh, and also... Oh. Okay, okay, why was she even done that in the first place? Uh, I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. Uh, it was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. I hate this guy, by the way. Kill him, please. <laughs> first, sound pretty fishy to me. Second, bullshit. Hmm. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her only in the room. Hmm. Gosh dang it, there's like no good. Nothing around there. Actually, I did notice something like this. Hmm. Hmm. Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> the money that she personally gave him must have swayed him in a way. Yes, it must have been that, yes. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now then, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. No. Hmm, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave this time. I can't protest. You know, Your Honor. Wait, please wait. Hold on a little minute. Does does the defense have something to add? One last question. Who asked? One last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. I have um. I have money to count at home. No, no, Miss Ashwood. All right, Mister, I give you one more question. That's all. Okay, okay, okay. You got this. You got this. This is really it. And now this is my last chance. I remember okay. they say like there's a momentary. There's like two people in the room. So when is that point? Just Wait, check, like, check with two people, or like room service. There's two two people there. Like, no, no, no. She, he said room service, and then she was there. So definitely, this didn't cross out, because yeah, she she also checked in at one p.m. or at lunch. So we already know check in. So I don't think that's useful. Mm -hmm. Bed making. Um, bed maker might be. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit random. You know what? I we should do the most dishonorable stuff. Safe scum. <laughs> All right. Does he say something about the beds when we went there? I can't remember what it was. Is it either check in like they noticed like there's two people there, not just one people, or like bed making they notice there's two people there. Is that a check-in on bed making? I think it's check-in. Mm. We can press tab and Okay. Yeah, that. can we go to tab for a sec? Can I just click profile? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, there we go. What did she say? The room service to made at time, but it was checks in. I 
Right, witness. Gifted prosecutors. Bullshit. Bullshit. Cultist. Maybe another cultist. Nothing here. Really. Hmm. Floor plan. I think there's some things that we have to do later. Um, definitely not anything that shows here. Oh, wait, anything that shows times? No, nothing shows times. Yeah, she put. Oh, but she said she checked it out like lunch. Fuck. Yeah. That's what's uh, annoying me. No, I didn't what's check annoying it. Me is I can't it, yeah. check the beds. I don't remember the what they said about bed. Um, yeah. That's what's annoying me. I don't. They said something about bed when he was examining the room, and I don't remember what it is. Like the bed has already been made. Yeah. Also, hi, Dag. <laughs> you loot, Dick. Enjoying in for the fun if you have the time. Bed has already Not been ring. made. Mm. You know what? We should go for the beginning bed. Just bed making. Like this is like the only uh, thing we never asked. Hmm. I think it's uh check-in. When did she oh wait she checked oh wait I oh, know do ignore me. <laughs> like noon, um, right? Yeah, it was noon. Hmm. And I'm wondering why the bed would already be made when, when oh, we wait, wait to see again her. nine without AM and PM. And we when we go there the bed is made. Yeah. So maybe they do like the 19, but they never talk about the specific morning or night time. So the bellboy was might be talking about morning. Mm. Oh. So, yeah, because they make the bed in the morning. I don't think they make it at night. Yeah, we can ask them like, did you do the bed making like after serving? Let's do bed making if it's wrong. Well, yeah, we can just yeah. Mm. Bed. It's bed making. Tell me about the making bed that day. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so random. Tell me about making bed that day, okay? Raisings. Oh, I was wondering uh, what were what you were going to ask, but bed making a new low. No, no, I miss that word. The witness will answer the defense questions. Yes, well, it was quite like any other de uh, day's bed making. I changed the sheets, the pillowcases, and then I proceeded to make the bed. I had to bring pillows for uh, two, of course, but they're quite light, you see. I see. Yeah, but why do you have to bring pillows for two? Yeah. yeah. Pillows. For two. All right. Wait a second. Hold on a second, there, Balboa. What did you just say? Uh, huh? what? Uh, yes. Pillows are light, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Well, Paul, like, just tell us the truth now. Did you just say someone else was staying in this man? <laughs> objection! I I object. That was objectionable. <laughs> oh my god! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> like objection overruled. Right. The witness will answer the questions. Uh, yes, I see. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Why didn't you not mention this in your testimony? Technically, you did. We just like, You're ignore being it. Paid. Uh, well, sir, uh, uh, um, you didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, asshole. That's the sort of things that you normally suppose to mention. Uh, yes, quite. Um, indeed. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh good. Uh, Brewster's there. Uh, then, and uh, Mr. Edgeworth, who uh, I was the um uh, who... um. Um, hmm. uh, yeah, not to mention if I wasn't specifically asked, sir, because I got paid a lot. That was actually falling. Holy shit, that was such a throw. Ain't no way.
You fool! I have thundered! I can't believe he fumbled like that! Alright. Here you go, Miss Apromami checks into the twin room with a man. How do I know it's a man? I have no idea, but with oh God, please a man. Edward. Correct. Y yes, sir. Yes. I see why Edgeworth didn't want us to examine this guy. He just ruined everything for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? Uh, th that's right, sir. Yes. Uh, hmm. Hmm! Your Honor? Ah. <sighs> I have to say this a lot of time now. Mm -hmm. We have just learned another fucker <laughs> is involved with this. And who may have been another potential murderer? In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the fucking defendant like in this very moment. Wouldn't you agree, Miss Ashworth? And who, Mr. Wright, who is this other person? Simple. It was. Uh, I mean, the uh, man with the Miss man with May. The day, yeah. No cost. <laughs> why, why, why you sounds like he don't know the answer, you just like follow the other person's word. <laughs> 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 like, then you don't know the answer, like, when she say, like, It's six! Six! I know the answer, it's six! <laughs> <laughs> the man who checks in with Miss May. <sighs> Your Honor, that asshole has been without so much information, he should be in court, actually. <laughs> Mm -hmm. As has been previously revealed, like Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself had an alibi of the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man and that is with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room in the time of the murder. My, my, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. <laughs> too late for what, asshole? I suppose you'd like it if you was like too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hit the present of the other man from this court. Like literally, like hiding evidence is like literally a freaking crime. <laughs> Yeah, but not when I have money! <sighs> Start amateur! These accusations are ludicrous, preposterous! Bastard you orphan! Son of a horse and. I say it enough! Doctrine. The court acknowledged the defense argument. I expect the prosecution and the defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, your honor. That is all today for the trial of Miss uh, Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Okay, I think we can take a break for the next stream for this. Yee. <laughs> So, hmm, before we do like any end yeah. of this. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! Really? There's so many bullshit there, I'm starting having aneurysms. I know why a lawyer didn't live long. I think I might be your newest fan. Do not blood sacrifice me. <laughs> oh, like, I, I was just... 
Not that I'm not even trying to do my job, they're just very shit witness. Then again, that other eternity was pretty cool though. Huh? Wait. Hell yeah, it was! Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lip. That is oh a God. lips of a guilty. It sent shivers up my spine. You are definitely crazy, girl. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get you a check. Alright, alright, if you say so. Sorry, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, mm, uh, eh. No. Technically, you do have a home, the jail, because, like, you kind of like high risk of blood sacrificing people. <laughs> Jail. Oh, I see. But this thing, a good lead today trial. Um, today, today, very sham trial actually. Uh, lead. Yeah, I skipped the sham part. Um, that man with Miss Me, like, he is the key, like, seriously. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss Me after that anyway? You don't have to know that much. I heard that rest of the actually, like, you know, she did white tap people. And she probably had a detention sentence now, so you are going to stay with Wait, her. So, so... Gonna... I thought that was a different case that they should have to get through. Anyway, yeah. so have fun with her. And current case is kind of close. Yes, sir. And I'm going to find out more about this man. To be honest, this is like a mysterious man. Do you think he was the one that... I don't know, you can find the guards to do that every time and then do a butt sacrifice, maybe you can talk to your sister about it. Butt sacrifice? <laughs> mm, then after that, maybe so. Yes. Oh, don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, unless he ran away. Technically, like... At the time, like we find out that he might be already ran away a long time ago. But I promise. I'm counting on you. I finally asked the full record of from his testimony. And that bitch is crazy. I thought it might come in handy during trial tomorrow too. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Like, most testimony is bullshit. Alright. Yeah, what can you even use in that? One part hasn't stricken from the oh, record. Left uh -huh. him dodge an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Okay. I don't know how much good this would do to me, but, you know. For now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigations. I don't need to sleep. Oh man, she's probably gonna come back next time. <laughs> yeah. Maya doesn't belong <laughs> in that detention centers, but also do not belong outside. She is bad shit crazy. Not a cultist. <laughs> and, it's because, and it's up to me to set her not that free. A little bit restrained, but still kind of free. <laughs> Um, Alright. <laughs> then we have to start speaking about the important things. Do you guys want to continue for the next time? Yeah, yeah I'd be down. It was mm. fun. It was a lot of fun. We might need a little bit more people the... for this, to be honest. I do want to see the conclusion to that one. Hmm. Yeah. And yes. Then we can schedule for another thing. Uh, but either way, like, which day do you guys prefer? Because I already have a kind of like a setting time originally, like Friday, Sunday, something like that. 
Um, so if you guys want it Sunday or next Friday? Um, I'm pretty sure I can't do next Sunday. I I mean like this. Hound, just give me like two seconds. I need to check something. Hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can't. Yep. So you can't do it this Sunday, then you said next Friday. Yeah, I can't do it next Sunday. Hmm. On the 29th. Yeah, I can't go 30th. So oh, yeah, we could Friday, just do yeah. Friday again. Okay, yeah. next Friday then. Yee. And if you guys prop possibly can, like, um, do convince someone else to come in. The more the merrier, actually, the more fun it is. Maybe next time we can get Gomi or Tig. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can get the whole gang together. Maybe Mitzi. Yeah, best like that. <laughs> but I'm not sure Mitzi is. Yo, Tig is on league. Going to stay that late if we are doing all the stay. Yeah, Mitzi would have to leave like. Probably like an hour later, so yeah, technically she still can oh, drop so in and like... out. It's just like not that long. Well, that sounds like on the Saturday, but would she stay longer? Hmm. Not on the Friday. If you want Saturday, so you can. I can switch your time. I don't have to fix on Friday. Actually, I'm literally free every day. Wait, today for you is Friday, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. For me, yes. Yeah, I but thought it was Saturday not. for you guys. What are you guys on about? Saturday for me, but Friday for Kiri. Wait, Kiri, why is it Friday for you? Hmm? Now, of course, it is not Friday. It's a Saturday at this moment. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Cool, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. So, so we um, can try Saturday instead, Friday, like, some Saturday instead of Friday if you guys like have some schedule issues. Okay. Yeah, I just have to do Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, slide. Yeah, next Saturday, same time, like eight. So um, Hugh have to be very healthy again <laughs> that day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tink, are you still here? Are you interesting to play voices? I don't think he's here. I'll, yeah. I'll message him on the don't worry. <laughs> I don't oh my um, God. I'm on my US account. Yeah, more people, more voice is like much more easier for us to like not do everything. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, at max, I did only like two his fan. Yeah. Maybe but you have 